I think there's going to be a wide divergence of opinion about what the role of this drug is. If physicians want to use a drug that's going to fundamentally change the outcome of their patients with acute decompensated heart failure, there is no role for niceratide in that. However, if there's a patient that is suffering and continues to be very dysnic, there may be a role in adding niceratide to the current therapy that patients are on. And I suspect that people will continue to use the drug for selected patient populations. Um, my impression of how the drug's used in many centers now is that if a patient doesn't respond to traditional therapy, which is really just diuretics and vasodilators, many people will reach for niceratide to see if that will additionally benefit the patient. And whether they've had good experiences or not, I don't think this trial's going to change their mind. In fact, they may feel more assured by the risk-benefit uh, profile that we saw and the absence of any renal insufficiency. I don't think this, this trial showed at all that this is a drug we should reach for initially. It's more expensive than traditional therapy and um, there wasn't a strong signal to say that this is a first-line drug.